domestic house standard is the next step towards sustainable living um, and the obvious being the reduction in energy utility costs but also the comfort of living in a house where there's no drafts, you've got a regulated temperature um, and a really nice environment to live in. The brief that we were given by Kings Van Potten was to expand their portfolio of houses. I guess the typology for their existing portfolio is quite traditional in house style and they wanted to offer something that was ambitious both in the principles in terms of passive house approach to building and living but also in the aesthetic of contemporary architecture. I think because we wanted to be ambitious with the design in terms of I guess avoiding the boxy and boring was um, one of the things I think that was bashed around a lot at the beginning. That obviously led to exploring more complex routes and throwing up things that were really interesting to try and resolve. One of the main things being the building is quite deep in plan and that's because we have a central courtyard which effectively acts as a light well to the open living space on the ground floor. That doesn't always combine well with passive house standards. That was one step a bit too far trying to have an open garden in the centre of the house um, with glazing around the internal walls of that. So we ended up actually putting a roof light over the top of the courtyard, which in hindsight actually worked out better, I think, because it meant that that space is now incorporated into the enclosed living space and offers an extra level of adaptability to how that space is then used. Overheating was one of the main challenges for us and I think things that we had to be really, really conscious about. On the south side, the main living space fronts onto the garden and we wanted to make the most of that elevation, therefore there's a large expanse of glass. And obviously south facing expanse of glass, that extent is really vulnerable to overheating. So we did a couple of things to combat that. Firstly, the roof overhangs by I think a, a good two metres on the south elevation, which protects that glazing from the high summer sun, which is when the building's most vulnerable to overheating but it's still positioned enough so that in the winter when the sun's lower, you can still, the sun can still penetrate deep into the house below that overhang. And then in other places, integrated blinds in the roof light are really key, as well as shutters. 